You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Falls. What's going on, NASCAR Diecast Collectors and Diecast Reviewers on YouTube? This is Original Big Bry here, and we are back with, uh, actually, I am back with some uh, more NASCAR Diecast Reviews, guys. I know you guys always look forward to that, and uh, we're going to go back to the basics, guys, and uh, give you guys some uh, NASCAR Diecast uh, reviews. And, um, yeah, I haven't done one since April, so hopefully I'm still fresh on what's good on NASCAR Diecast. Of course I am, because, you know, I'm the NASCAR Diecast News King. <laughs> but, um, anyways, uh, I hate to brag right there. But we are going to be, uh, speaking of bragging guys, we're going to be, uh, if you guys can take a look at our background, it might give you a little indication of what kind of car we'll be reviewing today. As you guys know, I'm a big Carl Edwards fan, and if you guys can glue, see right here, I have most of Carl Edwards' cars right here, ranging from last year and this year, uh, including these cars right here, which are on the WLS, well, not WLS mold, the PTC mold. So, I guess you can say I'm a big Carl Edwards fan, so we're probably going to review a Carl Edwards car, if you guys had not know already. But um, this is actually going to be a Carl Edwards sidecast that actually has been canceled by Lionel, but I decided to actually, um, let's say, this is going to be a custom NASCAR Diecast review, and that custom will be on Carl Edwards' 2015 Sport Clips Toyota Camry uh, Chase version car. So, what can I say, guys? This is an awesome looking car that I got um, from eBay. I did pay, like... I hate to say this guys I did pay $30 for this but you'll probably see why because these custom looks like a real die cast I mean it's not paper it is not a paper die cast whatsoever it is completely all decals and it just looks fantastic right there so of course the box if you guys can already tell it is a custom uh, if you guys haven't know already um, there is no uh, sport clips on this car because it is a custom as I've said. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, not too fancy on the box, but I did appreciate they decided to give me a Tales of 15 Carl Edwards box to display this. So let's go ahead and uh, unbox this bad boy and take a closer look at it. All right, buddy, and here we go. We have the car right here, and man, oh man, what can I say about this car? Beautiful looking car right here. Of course, you got the traditional sport clips colors with the uh, white body, and you know, it's got the red, black, and gray on it. And plus, it's also rocking the chase contingencies as well. I mean, uh, the yellow really looks nice on this car for sure. I mean, the custom maker on eBay, who I have to keep anonymous because I do not know what their his or her name is so I do apologize for that but whoever you are who are watching this video congrats you did one hell of a good job at a custom and usually I'm not really a big fan of customs but when it comes to this quality right here guys this right here definitely is spot on beautiful I mean just look at this right here as I give you guys a 360 view just you can clearly see they put a lot of detail and effort on this car down right to the paint scheme and how the decals are laid out perfectly uh, even the windshield they got that accurate as well the chase contingencies, uh, even Coors Light Pole Award, they have that on there, which is just amazing. Plus, it's also on the EL mold, guys, which is just awesome, because nothing's better than the good old classic EL mold. And look at that, man, that spoiler's just dead on perfect. There's a little blemish right there, but you know what? Just whatever. It, it's, it is what it is. They did a really good job with this car, so I cannot complain about this car whatsoever. Um, so yeah, this is uh, going to be, uh, let's go ahead and review the sponsors of this car, because that's uh, always entertaining. So of course, we got the Carl Everts' name shield, which is the Chase name shield that they have uh, for the um, last 10 races of the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, with his last name, Carl Edwards, and the wonderful Toyota logos. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people who love Toyota and NASCAR. Notice my sarcasm right there. <laughs> we got Sport Clips Haircuts, which is, is a haircut place, and I've been to Sport Clips before, and they are, um, they're a little expensive. I mean, if I ever had to pay $17 for a haircut, I would probably... I don't know, I probably would go to a mental institute because that's pretty expensive for just a haircut, especially for a guy's haircut. Like, for girls, I understand, but for a guy's haircut, I mean, come on. It should be no less than $10. Come on, Sport Clips. Give it the program. <laughs> uh, but, of course, I have to shop there because, you know, I am a Carl Edwards fan, but haven't been there in a while, guys. But it is a nice place if you do can't afford a nice, good haircut. They offer, um, you know, um, hot towel finishes and all that stuff. Um, I don't know, I'm not a cosmetologist, but yeah, I'm a diecast reviewer. <laughs> uh, we also got 19 Toyota Camry. There's no Joe Gibbs Racing logo, and we also got the uh, wonderful Chase Splitter, which is all yellow, as you can see right here. They even took their time to paint uh, the whole bottom of this car, which is really cool. Uh, by the way, the bottoms, um, they didn't paint any detail on the bottom, but you know what? You can't ask for more than what the detail that this car has right here. 
So on the side, of course, we got your uh, usual contender sheets for the NASCAR Spring Up Series. However, there is a Coors Light Pole Award. Uh, actually, Coors Light um, logo on it. So otherwise, uh, otherwise, if this is made by Lionel, they would put a base on it, which would suck. Uh, we also got the uh, NASCAR Spring Up Series Chase sticker right here. Uh, this was ran in New Hampshire, so I'm sure that was, I believe, like the uh, second round from what I know. Actually, no way, the first round. Uh, this is what happens when I don't watch the chase that much. I really forget. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the chase, so um, I kind of expected that little error right there because uh, that's when I turn off on NASCAR when the chase starts because it's just a bunch of fabricated. Uh, yeah, anyways, we got a diecast review. <laughs> uh, we got Carl, Carl Evers' name on top with the Toyota logo, Subway, and J5 sunglasses. I actually find out what J5 is now. It's a sunglasses company, so that's pretty cool right there. Stanley, and we got Eris. Oh, God, it actually says Riss. What happened to the A? Ah, oh, well. Maybe the A got disappeared uh, where the C-pillar is. It's probably hiding somewhere because it's uh, afraid of the Sport Clips car. Because it's not the main sponsor. <laughs> Who the heck knows, guys. But um, got a lot of other sponsors, especially Stanley and Riss. <laughs> uh, we also got Sport Clips, uh, the American Ethan logo, which looks wonderful. Uh, really good uh, detail right there. Um, can't really see these sponsors right here because they're a little tiny, but I've had to guess that is Mac Tools, Lincoln Welders, Frightline, Sherman Williams, which is a paint company, and Siemens. Uh, of course, you're rocking the Goodyear Eagle tires, uh, and they're also on the Yale mold, so they got this nice, um, they're not as thick as they are on the PTC mold. Uh, we also got, let's see, the Toyota logo with another Toyota logo and the Toyota branding on that car. 19, Sport Clips haircuts, and there's no XSE on this car because I doubt they couldn't really fit that on there so that doesn't really bug me too much but it does have a little camera on it which is pretty cool right there of course you got the yellow chase uh spoiler i'm about to say banner for some stupid reason uh help a hero on the decklet which is um i like that motto a lot you know you should always go and support your veterans uh you know because without them we wouldn't live in a great country that we are and that is of course the united states of america hell yeah <laughs> so help a hero out guys you, I know you can do it. Sport clips, haircuts, and of course number 19 on top, which is white instead of black on the sides. And of course, as the once great race day 2011 likes to say, this side is the same as the other side. So pretty cool right there. So basically the main colors of this car are your traditional sport clips colors. Um, are Of course it has a white um, base on this car uh, a white yeah a white front base on this car as the base coat of um, this paint scheme followed by some red um, some red lines and some um, some red gray and black jagged lines as you see right there they're kind of jagged on this line right here and the red and the black kind of goes all around this car and there's also like a gray line that follows underneath it but you see right there, it's a pretty revolutionary paint scheme as it goes all around. I mean, it's still got some more black um, lines right here. I mean, I don't really have to go in close detail of a, of a paint scheme because you guys can actually see it. But just really want to show some depth on that because it's a it's a nice looking paint scheme. You know, I'm glad Sport Clips decided to change his paint scheme up for the for the Taos 15 cars. Uh, and however, I do not have a die cast to compare with this. But um, the only difference about this car for this year is is that of course it does have the yellow chase banners. But I'm sure it will when it runs in New Hampshire at the chase race coming up in fall um, and also the black numbers decide to go with white this year which looks a lot more better so I'm hoping Lionel Racing can really look forward into making this car because this car was canceled last year the original version but um, you know this is like I said this is just a random car that I saw, that I saw on eBay and I'm like you know what I need a Sport Clips car, so I decided to get it. So now I'm going to try to hopefully get his Xfinity car and the Minions car. My goal is probably to try to get every car leverage paint scheme for the for, for his uh, roots in Joe Gibbs Racing. That's my main goal. And this right here, guys, if you um, can find this um, diecast um, custom maker who made this, uh, feel free to let me know. But um, I do appreciate you guys uh, for tuning in on this video. As always, this uh, video is sponsored by Lesher's Diecast. Make sure to check out your local Diecast dealers. They are always, um, you know, I mean, it's cool to hang out and buy from KCD Diecast and Plan B Sales. But when you go and help out your local businesses, it really does um, help them out a lot and plus also you get to know them pretty well i mean uh, i'm starting to really get to know the guy from lesher's uh online but i have not met him in real life but you know it's always good to build good relationships like that so uh 
and plus Lester Diecast, they're up to date with all the newest NASCAR Diecast. So when new NASCAR Diecasts come out, um, they, um, Lester's, Plan B Sales, and Casey Diecast are always your main suppliers to get newest Diecasts. So check out Lester's Diecast. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to check them out and so forth, guys. So this is Richard McBride signing off for now, and happy haircuts, everybody.